It's Wind Down Wednesday, and that means we are going to take it easy today. Oh, yeah. Hey, Bye. easy like Sunday morning. Come on. <laughs> we are still <laughs> celebrating black history and black excellence as we should each and every day. But speaking of black excellence, look at those fine black men over there. <laughs> what's up, brother? <laughs> oh, what's up? <laughs> Take it easy? We're taking it easy, guys. On a Wednesday? On a Wednesday. It's impossible. It's wind down Wednesday. <laughs> it's impossible. Well, that's what we're going to tell everybody. But y'all know we always on 10 over here. How y'all doing? Oh, we're good over You're here. You're good? Yes. So, LeVon, there's a huge show featuring you tomorrow. Oh, wow. Ah! Is it? Yes. <laughs> Talk no, to no. us, Bobby Rush and Senior Son. Hey, well, it's a uh, show featuring bass. And, hey, yes. look what I'm playing. I'm playing it's bass. Yes! <laughs> we are so excited. So tomorrow night we are going to be filming Afro Jams all about that bass. Yes. And you all, you must stay tuned, stay close for the culture is always playing. Yes. And LaVon is finally our featured artist. <laughs> oh, Yay! Wow. Bravo it's to that. Favorite. We're excited. It's We're honored, favorite. honored, honored, honored. So listen, y'all sit back, relax, and don't you dare change that channel because it's time to do what? y'all to come with me a little bit. <laughs> Listen, before we bring our guests out, I just have to tell y'all that Netflix has been killing it lately. Phil. Mm -hmm. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Now, I know you love to binge watch movies. Have I you sure seen did. some of these amazing movies lately? Yes, I did. I'm excited to see these top five selects for Netflix today. Oh, my God, y'all. <laughs> I think I'm equally as excited as Phil. Hey. So, listen. <laughs> they definitely have some binge-worthy shows out with the fifth one being Love is Blind. It's about singles who want to be loved for who they are rather than what they look like. Phil. I feel the vibe of this show. This show is similar to the vibe of Are You The One and also Too Out To Handle, which are also some really big chart hitting hits on Netflix. Mm -hmm. So the whole dating reality show vibe is definitely what's attracting a lot of viewers and a lot of the younger demographic. And plus, everybody on those shows look great. So oh a whole lot of eye So you love that, right? I mean, I think everybody looks great. Yeah. <laughs> I think you look great. There you go. Well, thank you, Phil. Yeah. We think you look great, too. Okay. So, yeah. Phil, number four is <laughs> My Lover, My Killer. It's a real-life story of those who paid the ultimate price for offending an obsessive lover. Mm-hmm. Obsessive love is a big thing. It's also trending if you watch shows like mm -hmm. Dateline, if you watch shows like Fatal Attraction, you'll definitely like this show. It's a lot of fun, but a lot of scariness at times because you're talking about people that are obsessed with love and yes. that are trying their best to make their loved ones love them. So, Well, that's scary. Yeah, very that's, scary. Those, that's what you call a true fatal attraction, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, my goodness. All right, so number three is... Perfect match. All right, so couples who prove their compatibility gain the power to make or break other matches in this strategic and seductive dating mm, competition. Ooh, so wait I, a minute, what's up with all these dating shows? Because that's what's turning. One, okay, you got a lot of hot people, uh -huh. you got a competition, and you also have, again, a lot of hot people. So what makes it very interesting <laughs> Is the fact that this show is different because it's utilizing competition more effectively, I believe, rather than the, the bread and butter dating shows like Are mm. You The One mm -hmm. or even Too Hot To Handle. So this brings a new twist to it because now you're trying to seduce. Well, normally some of the shows have you tried not to seduce. That is correct. Mm. Remember we had that gentleman on here and it was like they could not touch. They could not do anything. But this yes. show wants you to touch. Mm -hmm. So you sign a contract stating that you can be touched. Yes. All right. Touch me. <laughs> Listen. So Physical 100 is the second one. Uh, it's called, it's a 100 contestants in top physical shape. Here we go again. They compete in a series of grueling challenges to claim the honor and cash reward as the last one standing. The last one standing. Yes. Yes, this show is amazing. It combines martial artists, it combines bodybuilders all into one big show. And it's all about physical strength and just going through competitions that test that physical strength. And I feel like maybe I could even go on that show. You, you know, know what? We like, have faith in you. Uh, yeah. I feel, uh, yeah. uh, uh, Stop I think it. I could do it at, with a little bit of uh, working out and a little bit of magic. I and we will it. encourage you, won't we, guys? Right. Yeah. We, uh, come on, guys. <laughs> All right. So the
the number one movie on Netflix is called You. It's a yeah. dangerously charming, Woo. intensely obsessive young man goes to extreme measures to insert himself into the lives of those he is transfixed by. Yes! Oh, just that, because it <laughs> is exciting. I just binged all of season four, part one, because part two will come out March 9th. But Penn Bagley does an amazing performance. He's been doing this show since 2019, I believe, and it's always remained at number one every time a new season drops. So if you like love, if you like lust, and you like a lot of horror, then this is the show for you. It's oh, a lot of my fun. goodness. Phil, you do know your stuff. I do. I you like really show. do. Thank you so much. Listen, <laughs> well, good. this week is clearly <laughs> all about crazy love stories. Listen, my first guest is making a huge impact in the magazine industry with his creation of Let Us Live magazine. This magazine is all about black excellence, love, unity, and diversity. It's the whole package. Y'all find out when we come back. We'll be right back with more of the Sandra Show. Hey! to the Sassandra Show. Y'all, please help me welcome the founder of Let Us Live magazine, Dwayne Stovall. Hey. Hey. Oh, Mr. Stovall, we are delighted to have you here today. How are you? I'm great, Queen. How are you? I am fantastic. Thank you so very much. So listen, we're just going to jump in and start talking about everything you're doing for the community, for the culture. So for all the viewers at home that do not know, please tell us what type of content is in Let Us Live magazine. So the beautiful thing, thank you so much for asking that as well, too. Um, it's a diverse plethora of content. So we've got lifestyle content, business content, social awareness content, anything that you think that human beings are a part of mm. in today's society, that is what we try to target and make sure that we bring to our audience. Oh, that's wonderful. So could you give us an idea when you say it's a plethora and it's a diversity, diversive yes. plethora of things yes. that you have in your magazine? What does that mean? So, um, a lot of the times when you think about magazines, the first thing that comes to mind is that they've died off. Um, and so what we've been able to do is we've been able to kind of gather with a couple of people within the community and then mm -hmm. also afar from the community to be able to bring stories that people can kind of relate to. We think about people and we think about the therapy that they get from those conversations and the lifestyle stories that we're able to tell to kind of give back to our community. So from your everyday cleaning person mm -hmm. to um, your, your mega household names, I mean, from top to bottom, we try to make sure that we scale in between as well to ensure mm -hmm. that we give a platform opportunity for anybody who's interested in telling their stories. That's amazing. So is that what inspired you to create the magazine? That was a portion of it. I um, I graduated at Alabama A&M University. Awesome. Congratulations. Um, <laughs> thank you. What so was your I, degree in? Or what is your degree in? So I'm an engineer in tech. Wonderful. Um, IT, obviously, yes. Yeah. So I've been doing that for quite a while, and I still do it now. Mm -hmm. um, um, but just being able to be around diverse people, that's when we yes. come back to the diversity. Um, yes. To seeing how people come together as family or just to maybe sit down and have a conversation with a, with a close friend. Mm -hmm. I think that those type of dynamics allowed me to understand that although we're different, we still do the same thing. True. It's so true. So then why the name Let Us Live? Why did you choose that name? <laughs> um, just, was, let just let us is live. Is that where it comes Come from? On. Yes, ma'am. Jesus. So yes. what I wanted to do is I wanted to kind of bring a playback off of, a lot of the times people go through things in their lives and they're like, just let me live. Yes. Let, can I live? Yes, just let um, me live. And so I wanted to find a way where, because I love people, Mm -hmm. I love just seeing the growth in people and just what they're capable of doing. And so mm -hmm. what I wanted to do was bring together a magazine that could kind of speak to them all at the same time. 
Mm. Um, and so that was one of the reasons why I decided to say, you know what, what can I do to not necessarily, of course, for our community, but also for other communities Correct. around the world who understand and can relate. And so Let Us Live was born from that. Love that. That's a great title <laughs> to a magazine. You. Just let us live. So Thank inside, you. our culture is living. You get yes. to see how we do the same things that you do, <laughs> just in a different skin. Yes. Right? I love it. <laughs> so what audience would you like to reach or what audience do you reach with your magazine? So that's so funny because, uh, of course, in business, you have to have a niche and you have to have yes, a demographic. Yes, that's what they say. Yes, your target um, market. And we, f and we followed the process for that. Mm -hmm. But it... It didn't work. Mm. I mean, of course, you know, our community and everyday people who are looking for opportunities to be able to advance or take themselves to the next level, those are the people that we're looking for. Mm -hmm. But to think about young kids who may have experienced something that maybe an adult hasn't. We talk about um, sex trafficking or mm -hmm. things like that that, mm -hmm. that people may not understand. So when people read these stories, they can kind of have an idea as to what that is and how they can help mm. or vice versa, apply that to their own lives to maybe save themselves. How would you compare your magazine to, say, an Essence or a Jet or something like that? I would say that we are the same on that same level. Mm -hmm. The reason why I say that is because we're still finding ways to give back to the community. Mm -hmm. We're just finding ways to do it differently. Um, and I think that there's a room, there's never too many positive things going on around. I don't new care. There's day, a thousand new ways. Of magazines, right? right? There's a thousand talk shows and mm -hmm. things like that. So get in where you fit in and make the impact there. Whether it's one person or a thousand people, just mm -hmm. make the change and be available for them when they're ready for you. Love that, that's powerful. So what kind of stories and testimonies have been featured in Let Us Live? So um, just to give a, a small background, I've spoken to some artists, um, people who are, are moms, like just a shout out to London B. She was actually one of the, uh, the front cover models that we've been able to work with. Um, she's also been on Netflix. Of course, everybody knows her from Rhythm and Flow. Excellent. But her story is about, you know, grinding and coming up from the dirt, mm -hmm. right? Living in New York, you know, being a, a mom at her age, a young mm -hmm. mom at her age, and then traveling down to Atlanta, and then how things just kind of started from there. Um, shout out to my brother Sick Flow. He's the father of Black, the artist, the Come uh, on. yeah Grammy nominated and winner as well, of course. Yes. Um, where he talks about his legacy, mm -hmm. right? His legacy about it being pushed into his sons, and now they also do something, and they're also impacting the world. So there's, it's crazy because although they sound like they will be the same, I think the backstory is what makes it different, and mm, I think that's what people of appreciate. Course. Most definitely. Well, listen, I hear that you have something in a mystery box. Yes. <laughs> Is there mu music for mystery sounds? Can you film? Can somebody please bring the mystery box out to us, please? Bring it on! Yeah, that's uh -oh. my baby. I'm it's just baby. I love it. That's my Got baby. lights and everything. Oh my God! Look at this. Yes, I want you to be able to touch it. You I know, want to touch the mystery it. box. You know. Okay. You just know you put okay. it here for you. Put it right there. Yeah, there you go. And just keep it right there. Keep it right there. Keep it right there. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So I. Woo! That's yeah. nice. <laughs> That is Beautiful. very nice. Yeah, so a little bit about the box on shout out to uh, Brian. He was the, one of the guys that I partnered with to be able to create this beautiful uh, pixie glass version of a box. I didn't want anything that could break, wow. um, but I did want something that can become a collectible. This so is. LUL uses it for our own campaigns, but uh -huh. we also created where it can be empty. You can put, you know, men and women can put anything they want to in it. How it's cool reversible, is this? so you can flip it upside down and take the top off. That's hence the size of the of the box. It's kind of like a mirror effect in a sense. Oh. So now you kind of get that. So if I flip up. it, what happens? <laughs> you just you be able to take off the top just like you did on oh. this time. And then it also has a, a lighting mechanism as well too. That is so cool. Yeah. And the only other thing that makes it even unique is that we've also brand um, partnered with a brand called um, Augmented Reality. Mm -hmm. Shout out to Dean Hunt. Um, he is the one that has now brought augmented reality to our magazine. So that's another thing that kind of sets us apart from other magazines. Augmented is that you can reality. Scan oh. And see behind the scenes and things like that. So really? Yeah. So you have like a QR code or something and they... It's it's a marker's image. It's so a... let's just say if I, if we wanted to do like a scavenger hunt in Atlanta, uh -huh. right? And I would just take Ilua's image and post it up on polls and 
everything oh, wow. that they normally do. Now they, they can just download the app for free mm -hmm. and scan it. And now all of the information that I'm saying, like right now as I'm talking to you, mm -hmm. hey, what's going on? How you doing? My name is Dwayne. You know, uh -huh. we have an event coming up on such and such. Now you can have it right at hand because people are still utilizing their uh, their phones. So we want to bridge the gap between the two where we can still talk to our to the millennials, but also talk to my older audience as well who still appreciates printed versions of magazines. That's amazing. And that's the engineering degree yes. in you. <laughs> yeah. Okay, y'all understand, y'all understand. Yes. That's amazing. Well, we wish you, you continued success. Thank you Thank so you. much for sharing your Thank mystery you. box <laughs> and your magazine with us. We'll yes. be reading. All right, we're going to take a break. Don't y'all go nowhere. We will. Hey, stop this right here. Stop. Guess what? I'm so sad. I wanted to spend more time with y'all, but our producers say it's time to go. So until next time, Chris, take you it away. Hey. You ready? Come on, scan that QR code at the bottom of your screen. Because we got way more exclusive content for you right here on the Sasanga Show. Only on Afro TV, Comcast Xfinity Channel 1623, and Roku. Don't drop everything at work. Listen, speaking of fire, John.